Hello, in this video lecture, we are going to learn about the X.25 protocol. First of all, we should need to know the basic definition of X.25 protocol. We can say that X.25 is a standard suite of protocols that is used for packet switching across the computer networks. The X.25 protocol works at the physical, comma, data link and network layers. That means layer 1 to 3 of the OSI model. While X.25 has to a large extent been replaced by lax complex protocols, especially the internet protocol, the service is still used and available in legacy applications. Here we can see the basic structure, the architecture of X.25 network protocol. PSE here shows the packet switch exchanges, DT shows the data terminal equipments, DCE shows the data circuit terminal terminating equipments and PAD is the packet assembler and disassembler. So you can see the interconnection and the cloud of the X.25 network. Then we have, it's a virtual circuit switching network. It uses a data transfer speed of 64 kilobits per second. It uses extensive error and flow controls at both data link and network layers. X.25 defines how a packet mode terminal can be connected to a packet network for exchange of data. It describes procedure necessary for establishing, maintaining and terminating connections. It also describes set of services called facilities to provide functions such as re reverse change, call direct and delay control. X.25 is also known as a subscriber network interface or SNI protocol. It defines how users DTE communicates with the network and how packets are sent over that network using DCs. It uses a virtual circuit approach to packet and use asynchronous statistical TDM to multiplex packets. Now we have to look at the X.25 layers. The first one is the physical layer. The second one is the frame layer. And the third one is the packet layer. So here we have one diagram that shows the X.25 layer relations to the OSI layers. So these layer defines functions of physical layer, data link layer and network layer of the OSI model. The figure explains the situation very well. The description of each and every layer of X.25 protocol is the first one is the physical layer. X.25 specifies a protocol named as X.21 at physical layer. It is also called as X.21 BIS. X.21 has been designed by ITU-T. X.21 is quite similar to other physical layer protocols such as EIA-232 which is also supported by X.25. Next we have the frame layer. X.25 uses a bit oriented protocol at frame layer. This protocol is called as link access procedure balanced LAPB. LAPB is subset of high level data control HDLC which is bit oriented protocol used in point to point and multi point links. Figure shows the format of a frame. LAPB packet. 
लिंक एक्सेस प्रोसीजर बैलेंस्ड पैकेट सो ऑल द पार्ट ऑफ दिस फॉर्मेट ऑफ द फ्रेम इज क्लियर बाय द डायग्राम द फ्रेम्स हियर आर कैटेगराइज लाइक आई फ्रेम एस फ्रेम एंड यू फ्रेम इन द पार्ट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन आई फ्रेम आर यूज टू एनकेप्सुलेट PLP packets from the network layer S frames are for flow and error control in the frame layer U frames are used to set up and disconnect the links between DTE and TCE the three packets most frequently used by LAPB in this category are SABM UA and DISC frame layer phases in the frame layer communication between a DTE and a DC involves three phases link setup packet transfer and link disconnect packet layer finally we will see the packet layer the network layer in x.25 is called the packet layer protocol plp this layer is responsible for establishing the connection and transferring the data and terminating the connection it is responsible for creating the virtual circuits as well and negotiating networks services between the two dtes while the frame layer is responsible for making a connection between a dte and dc the packet layer is responsible for making a connection between two dtes and to end connection now we will see the main advantages of x.25 the main advantages of x.25 in switching and routing techniques are like this it is having fast response times second one is no blocking except when the network storage is completely flooded third one is high availability because of distributed routing the fourth one is high speed data bursts called can be handled as well as low speed requirements the main disadvantages of x.25 is x.25 has low data rate that is 64 kilobits per second only x.25 has extensive flow and error control at both the data link layer and network layer the third one is flow and error control at both layers creates a large overhead and slow down transmissions these are the main drawbacks of the x.25 protocol one more limitation is there that x.25 has given way to another technologies for wan like frame delay and then atm asynchronous transfer mode x.25 was designed for private use not for the internet x.25 has its own network layer which means that the user data are encapsulated in the network layer packets of x.25 although the internet has its own network layer which means if the network internet wants to use x.25 it has to deliver its network layer packet known as datagram to x.25 for encapsulation in the x.25 packet thus the overhead doubles in that manner we have given the description of the main disadvantages of x.25 protocol thank you very much